This video will take you through the Blue Hill Universal Test Method setup and options for an XY stage. If you are a Blue Hill Universal user, the Method tab will look familiar, but you'll notice there are two additional sections, XY Stage and Start Test. In the XY Stage section, users can create sequences for the XY Stage to follow. There are three templates. Grid, which is used for multiple specimens that are arranged in set intervals. For example, a rack with syringes to perform plunger operation force or cap removal tests. The diamond template is for a common electronics application, where a button is being tested in the center and at four equidistant points around its perimeter. The custom sequence is available as many applications have test points that don't fit into a diamond or grid pattern. A custom sequence allows the user to create test locations that fit a particular component. We'll come back and look at custom sequence, but first, let's look at the standard template for the grid. To create a new sequence, select a template and add. Blue Hill Universal has a visual preview of the test sequence on the bottom of the screen. This provides immediate feedback to the user so they can easily see if the sequence pattern matches their expectations. Each sequence can be named to make it easily identifiable. For example, you could name it after a part number that is being tested using that particular sequence. The grid template defaults to three rows by three columns. This is simple to change. Note that the preview below updates to reflect the changes. You can also change the distance between points in both the X and Y directions. Note that the preview updates as well. In addition to creating a custom sequence from scratch, users can also convert a standard grid or button pattern into a custom one. This is helpful if the sequence is similar to one of the standard templates but needs some customization. In a custom sequence, the user can remove unnecessary points. New points can also be added and customized by setting the X and Y coordinates and the move type. The point coordinates can be values that are relative to the preceding point. They can also be absolute positions on the XY stage. Or a point can be used to send the stage to the home position as part of the sequence. Each test location can also be given a specific name to help better identify each test area or part. We've just looked at how to create a custom sequence from a standard grid or diamond pattern. Now let's look at the creation of a custom sequence from scratch. To build a custom sequence, a user can add points, change the move type, and input X and Y locations as we saw in the previous example. Alternatively, a user can import a CSV file that contains the necessary information to create a sequence. It is also possible to export a custom sequence to a CSV file. Once again, the sequence can be named to easily identify the test component. Once the sequence is ready, the user goes to the Start Test tab on the left and can toggle on Run a Sequence of Tests. Multiple test sequences can be stored in one test method. If that is the case, as it is here, the user selects the sequence they need from the drop-down menu. In some cases, it may not be necessary to test at all the locations, so the user is able to specify the starting point. For this keyboard example, if the user wants to run tests on only the A, S, D, W, and space keys, they can select the A key as the start point. Finally, the user can set an action to occur at the end of the test. The stage can remain at the last test location or it can be moved to the home position. Moving to the home position is helpful as it will leave the stage in a position where the user can easily remove the tested part and install a new sample. Everything else in the test method, such as test control, sample information, specimen information, calculations, workspace settings, and the report layout can be set up in Blue Hill Universal in the same way as it is for a non-XY test methods. For more information, visit us at www.instron.com.